All right, check this out. So it's Friday night in the shop just before dinner time, and I made some of these um, flowers out of pine, and I want to sand them. So basically what I got is this uh, central machinery slash uh, Harbor Freight. What's that, a one-inch wide belt sander? I don't know, it's kind of nice. Um, I took off the base plate, and I took off the back guard so I can get into this belt more and get into the crevices more and just walk it right uh, right down in there with everything on there I couldn't get in there so now I just get in there clean it all up make it look good and I'm gonna paint them but that's not the issue I'm getting rocked off of this thing so it's unplugged now but it's building up a charge and then all of a sudden it just whacks me um, I've had this on shopping carts too. Uh, my wife doesn't believe it, but I'm, I'll be walking through the grocery store and all the thing will just discharge on me. So anyway, it's, it's got these rubber feet on the bottom. Okay, so the first thing I thought of, it, it's not a um, 120 volt um, alternating current shock. It's like a DC, it's just a discharge. Um, so anyway, it's got these rubber feet. I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe it's building up some static in here. Why it wouldn't go through the ground or the neutral, I don't know, because it is grounded in China. I'll check into that. So anyway, I took the rubber feet off on just one side, and it's got these um, bolts on the bottom, bolt heads. And I just rested that into the, onto the uh, table saw. And I'm thinking, all right, my table saw has got to be uh, have a ground in there where it'll discharge this thing. And I'm thinking, so I fire this thing up, and I'm going at it, and it freaking rocked my world again. So then I just ripped the plug out. I'm like, I don't know what's happening with this thing. Here's the other thing, though, and I'm standing on these mats, right? But it's still rocking my world, even being what I would consider... Uh, insulated like isolated I don't know dude I'm baffled and I don't want to plug this thing back in again and fire it up unless I got my freaking rubber gloves on but it wasn't happening the other day it's humid out today it's hotter than snot I don't know any thoughts and I'm not so sure I'm willing to try them out if you do give me a suggestion. Because I don't want to fire this thing up again. It freaking hurts, man. And like I said, it's not 120 volt, um, like an alternating current shock. I've been hit plenty of times on that. It's just like a discharge, like a capacitor would probably make. It just charges up and then, bam, it releases. I don't know. Posting this just for suggestions. But it's Friday night. I'm awake. Talk to you later.